Thank you for clicking Dr. Samurai channel. In this video, I would like to discuss what really happens at the very moment of execution of death penalty, especially from the perspective of correctional officer who actually pushed the button. My name is Dr. Samurai. I'm a professor specialized in international social pathology and also an active prison counselor of 20 years experience. As usual, I would like to provide you some basic brief information first and then like to move on to our main discussions in the latter half. Hoping this video will help you deepen your understanding of what is happening in today's world. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. I base this video on an article uploaded for Abema Prime online on July 14th, 2017, titled Though Decade Past, I Still Remember It Vividly. What Really Happened at the Very Moment, an Ex-Correctional Officer Confessed. This officer is now 74 years old and uh, he served as a correctional officer at uh, Osaka Penitentiary, which holds death row. I would like to uh, introduce his own words about what happened on the day of execution. It was right after I finished graveyard shift. Normally, we get together at 8 and then break up. But uh, on that day, we were told that uh, those five officers whom I'm going to call, please be waiting at the waiting room. And uh, management director called us one by one, notified in his room that uh, we here order you to be an executioner. Usually, as it gets closer to execution day, the execution site is cleaned up. So there was a rumor that uh, there could be uh, executions pretty soon. But uh, he says, I have never dreamed that uh, I would be the one. Because uh, usually the one who become executioner is the one whose uh, work evaluation is not so good. Because uh, my evaluation was high, I never dreamed of becoming one. There are five execution buttons. Five officers simultaneously push each button. So that uh, whose push actually led to the execution. We usually never stop the execution, whatever happens. We use the method of hanging and uh, the spot on the floor where inmate is standing opens up for him to uh, fall down through the floor. But even if the electrical device is out of order, we have manual handle just in case of emergency accident. One who was to be executed was already over 70 years old. At first, I had an impression that uh, because he is old, why don't they let him die naturally? But uh, later on, as I read, this man, when young, raped and killed wife and her daughter. So I made up my mind that uh, this execution would be worth doing. Usually uh, five officers, including a supervisor selected, would go to the targeted inmate. Just open the door and tell him simply come out. And uh, he usually goes, uh, for what? We never disclose we are going to execute him. But the route we take is an unusual route. 
different from what he is uh, used to when he meets with the family visit. We are going to uh, take him to the warden's room. There, the warden officially announces to the person, the time has come that uh, we must say goodbye to you. From now, we are going to execute your death penalty. Under the call, take him. We are heading to uh, the execution site. On the hallway, every five meters, prison officers are standing, just in case the inmates try to run away. They usually uh, talk to uh, familiar officers, probably out of uh, their human impulse of uh, wanting to live even uh, one minute or one second longer. But uh, officers are usually at the loss of uh, how to respond to the inmates who say, thank you all the kindness you gave me, officer. Because we can never say, take care. All we can say is just to keep walking. They usually cry. And on that very day, I remember entering the room with the execution buttons as if I was running away from the scene because uh, I didn't want him to know I would be the one. Execution site looks like uh, just uh, an ordinary uh, meeting room with the bright light. There's a altar which we can easily change by pushing one button according to their person's belief. Their inmate was uh, blocked by a curtain from seeing the rope which is going to hang him up until the very last moment. He uh, stands within the taped area on the floor which is like uh, one meter by one meter. His uh, hands are carved behind. Also his uh, feet are carved as well together with the blindfold. And right before the execution, the leader goes, uh, do you have anything you want to leave behind? According to him, Sam say, I don't need no blindfold. Or many cannot say a word because of the fear. As soon as uh, the inmate stops talking, the leader calls to push. And the red lamp in the in our room turns on. We simultaneously hit and uh, heard sound psh, like that of air break. And uh, the area on the floor opens downward, and he dies because of his body weight. The important thing here is. We must make sure the inmate finished talking his last words. Because uh, if the floor opens while he is still talking, he bites his tongue and uh, bleed badly. There's also an officer downstairs who uh, receives falling down inmates so that the uh, inmate's body wouldn't bounce right and left which is considered uh, too cruel. That role is probably the toughest role. My senior officer who did it 10 times asked the management director that uh, please put me off of this role next time. 10 times was enough for me to become a grandfather. We who pushed the buttons also went down to uh, carry the dead body. The body is usually uh, hanging about uh, 12 minutes as a doctor is checking the pulse. Us five lifted the body while the officers upstairs loosen the rope. We put the body into the coffin, close it, and uh, carry it to uh, 
our morgue. And that's the end of our mission. The body waits till the funeral car arrives. After everything is done, we were served lunch. This cost like uh, $30. We never talked to each other. Even after we went home, my wife noticed a different air of me saying, uh, did something happen? But I never talked about what happened on that day. Probably because of my respect for the death of one life. Usually the, the day before the execution, inmates cannot sleep because uh, they cannot feel they are alive if they uh, fall into sleep because they are going to uh, be into a long, long sleep. Although it happened decades ago, I still remember every detail of what happened. Although I am not suffering from it, that means something to me. Usually, the death row inmates are placed in an extreme psychological condition of fearing death. They are always freaked out at the footsteps of correctional officers. Under such acute condition, they cannot have time to repent what they committed. And also, in principle, they are supposed to pay for their crime by their death, so we do not push them for repentance. And uh, those who committed uh, cruel crimes that deserve death penalty are not normal people, not usually persons of normal mind or normal personality. So it is uh, unrealistic to uh, hope they will regret or repent. Such things we may see in uh, school textbooks are not uh, realistic. They are not uh, the same as ordinary persons psychologically. This is the basic information. If you like this kind of serious discussions, please click that uh, yellow and green good luck charm logo. Based on this, what I would like to uh, tell you as today's value is only one thing. It is based upon this uh, executioner's last words that uh, most of the death row inmates are not a uh, normal person as the public are. They do not regret or repent the crimes they have committed. I assume it is difficult, especially for those Western people who believe in uh, repentance and rebirth. But uh, I would like you to understand this hard fact. This is the upbringing of ordinary people like you. And this is the upbringing of those who commit the crimes that make them death row inmates, okay? These two are clearly different. What I am saying is they were not raised as you were raised. They came from totally different backgrounds. I'm talking about the general fact. There could be uh, some exceptions. All of you know the word rehabilitated. The word rehabilitate means become suitable again. And it's root word. Do you understand what I'm saying? Rehabilitate means those who were suitable originally. And they did bad things, but they come back to be suitable again. That means, based on this idea of two perfectly different upbringings, this is the ordinary upbringings with love and care, and this is their upbringing 
without love and care to those who did not experience true love and care and raised under such cold condition. They do not have anywhere positive that they can go back to. Rehabilitation is only possible for those who experienced love and care and used to be a person of normal human feelings. Those who have not experienced true love and care do not even know what the love is and what the care is because they haven't experienced that, especially in early childhood. It is not a part of their nature. If it was not imprinted during their first three years of life. Again, this、uh, executioner CEO says to hope for regret and repentance from them is usually unrealistic. Now you know what he meant. This is today's value for you. If you like this kind of serious discussions, Please click that、uh, red Dr. Sume logo. And、uh, I would like you to、uh, appreciate each peaceful day as something very special. Wherever you are, my friend, on this same small planet Earth during this very short period of time. Okay, thank you very much. Bye bye now.